I, I, I seriously feel like I'm in Silent Hill right now, dude. Somebody, oh my gosh, that is the best idea ever, bro. Please. Somebody needs to make a mod where they put all of the sound effects and music from Silent Hill into this game. And please make it compatible with the Mist mod because, dude, <laughs> this already feels like Silent Hill. I'm not gonna lie. Because of stuff like limited resources and needing to put more priority towards things like gameplay and Into the Radius 1, the developers said that a majority of their ideas for lore and the story of the game never got realized in the original Into the Radius. But now, the Into the Radius developers have more resources at their disposal for Into the Radius 2. They have experience packaging and shipping a successful VR game. They are going to be able to put more time and effort towards developing the story and lore of Into the Radius 2. The events of Into the Radius 1 take place at the turn of the century, and Into the Radius 2 is going to be happening a little bit afterwards during the mid-2000s. So the first piece of lore that we got in this dev diary is that apparently Apparently, after the events of the original Into the Radius, the committee has somehow become more ambitious and now they have more resources because of our hard work and research in this hellscape. And apparently this is good news for us too because in Into the Radius 2, the developers say that the committee is now giving us new bases designed from scratch, dude. Apparently old equipment is getting an upgrade and new types of equipment are going to be getting added to the game. So apparently this change in ambitions and the amount of resources that the committee has in Into the Radius 2 is going to directly impact a majority of the equipment that is designed by the committee. However, the developers did have this to say apparently the only thing that isn't going to change is the cold distant nature of the UNPSC's relationship to explorers so basically we get new stuff but we're still gonna be alone you guys already know this but there is a new explorer in into the radius 2 as the hero he's the main character and the entire story of into the radius 2 is going to revolve around his exploration into the middle of the radius and basically the way that multiplayer is going to work and into the radius 2 is that the host of the multiplayer lobby is going to be the head honcho he's the main character of the game all of the progression and everything is going to revolve around him and then everybody who joins his lobby for multiplayer is basically going to be like a side character and I'm not sure how it's going to affect everybody's progression through the game. Like, maybe only the person who is hosting the lobby is actually going to have progression saved for their game. Into the Radius 2 is intended to have a much more structured story and a more in-depth narrative. And the developers have said that they are going to continue to use the same kind of plot presentation where we don't really have a lot of cutscenes in the game that take us out of gameplay and everything's still very interactive as we progress progress through the story. So I'm assuming that this means, you know, similar to how Into the Radius 1 is, when we go on missions, priority missions, they're somehow kind of interwoven into the story of the game. So by going to these missions and interacting with the specific locations, we will naturally progress through the story and learn more about the radius. So don't quote me, but I'm assuming that's kind of what they mean when they're talking about how there's not really going to be any cutscenes and they're going to continue to sort of weave story into the game gameplay of Into the Radius 2. With this approach, the Into the Radius developers said that they are going to be focusing a lot of attention towards visual narrative. A couple of examples of this without spoiling Into the Radius 2 is changes to the committee, as well as how the Into the Radius 2 developers are reworking locations in the Pechorsk Anomaly. So, reworking the Pechorsk Anomaly locations. I'm honestly pretty interested in knowing what percentage of Into the Radius 2 is going to be locations like we have and into the radius one. I'm pretty damn interested to see how they plan on reworking these locations. Apparently in the original into the radius, which I'm playing right now, the base is careless, shabby, and kind of improvised, which is supposed to be a reflection of how the committee feels about us and everything that's going on right now when it comes to the Pachorsk anomaly. So after the events of into the radius one, the committee is like, okay, we actually have some promising information. We learned some shit. The new base in Into the Radius 2 and upgraded equipment are apparently meant to express and show the new mood that the committee has in Into the Radius 2, which honestly sounds like a more uplifted mood toward explorers. Like, 
they care more about us we're getting a cooler base we're getting brand new upgrades and equipment and everything so into the radius 2 literally sounds like a warm loving hug from the unpsc in my opinion <laughs> maybe we won't physically get that hug but goddamn, i am excited to see a new base that's more detailed and new guns and upgrades equipment it's gonna be insane while working on the locations of the radius apparently the developers adhere to a concept called thematic layering the first layer consists of landscapes and nature determined by geographical location of the Pechorsk anomaly, aka Eastern Europe, the border of one of the Baltic countries. The second layer is the man-made infrastructure corresponding to the city of Pechorsk and its environment at the time of 1987, where and when the Pechorsk anomaly appeared. The third layer is the radius layer, which apparently is supposed to reflect the gloomy and deadly vibe of the Pechorsk anomaly. This green mist that will kill your ass. These types of things. And the final layer is going to basically be traces left behind of the committee and other explorers, depending on how inhabitable the location is. You could probably consider the orange suited men basically a sprinkling of the committee or like a remnant of other explorers who were here but died. So I don't know if they specifically mean dead people in Into the Radius 2. You know, traces like that, remnants of the committee, maybe like a broken down facility. I don't know. Maybe our base, dude. Our current base all broken down and messed up. That might be like a remnant in Into the Radius 2 of the committee and other explorers. All of these different layers are going to interact with each other depending on where you are, what location you're at, and what specific narrative and story is driving that location of the map. When Into the Radius 2 first releases into early access, the main goal is going to be ensuring that the general gameplay of Into the Radius 2 is very sound and it functions as intended. The developers say that this means the first iterations of Into the Radius 2 and Early Access aren't going to contain full-fledged story elements but we will already be able to enjoy the visual elements of the base and different locations in the radius that we are going to be able to explore. Everything else is coming in future updates of the game. This is the same thing that the developers did for Into the Radius 1 Early Access, and for the most part, this game turned out pretty damn amazing. Obviously, I wish that we got mod support, but the developers say that mod support is definitely going to have more priority than it did in Into the Radius 1 while they are developing Into the Radius 2. So in Into the Radius 2, we should be way more likely to get mod support, and then we can really blow this game up, dude. It's such a great virtual world for modding. Believe it or not, there is a more recent dev diary that, that goes into detail about the guns for Into the Radius 2, so I'm going to be posting a video on that dev diary later this week. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing to the channel if you did like it. If you really want to help support the channel, consider grabbing a membership. Become a part of the family, man. I hope you boys have an awesome weekend, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!